war. War always changes. At least it does on the battlefields of Helldivers 2. The 01.000.200 update has once again shaken up the war for managed democracy with balance changes, mission tweaks, and a pair of devastating new automatons. These are the biggest changes you need to know. A lot has changed with your arsenal on the battlefield with plenty of buffs and nerfs to go around. Most notably, the Breaker Incendiary, Dominator, and Anti-Material Rifle have all seen damage increases, making them all more viable weapons to use against the enemies of Liberty. Meanwhile, fans of the Slugger shotgun should note that its damage has been reduced. Also, the recently added Heavy Machine Gun has seen its top-end firing rate reduced from 1,200 rounds per minute down to 950, decreasing how quickly you can unload your damage. Effects, the rotating operation modifiers, are also being retuned. Now, the penalties of effects that increase stratagem cooldowns or call-in times are cut in half. Ready for another mission, Helldiver? That means the next time you load into a planet and see something like complex stratagem plotting is active, you will see a 50% rather than 100% increase in call-in times. One of the most notorious mission objectives has been altered to give humanity more of a fighting chance. The Retrieve Personnel mission, where you press a button and hope a squad of refugees survives the trip to a safe area, has two important changes. First, the number of civilians that need to be rescued is reduced on higher difficulties. Second, the enemies now spawn further away, creating a better opportunity to set up a safe corridor for everyone to travel in. As a result, these missions, which used to be automatic skips for a lot of players, are now much easier to complete. <laughs> Several of the Terminids' most annoying creatures have been marginally defanged. The Bile Spewer and Nursing Spewers love to melt Helldivers with their lethal vomit. Thankfully, those particular bodily fluids now do less damage, giving you a better chance of surviving an acidic shower. The pesky flying shriekers, meanwhile, have thankfully stopped creating breaches for terminids to spawn from. Two new automaton units have joined the fray, and they are not playing around. First up is the gunship. These are heavily armed and armored flying craft that love nothing more than to rain pain down on you from the air. A well-placed rocket or blast from a quasar cannon is enough to put them down but that only offers a temporary reprieve. These annoying flyers will keep coming back until you take out the gunship facilities that keep manufacturing them. These buildings can only be destroyed with hell bombs, and you'll likely need to keep this guys clear while at arms. Otherwise, these automatons will destroy the hell bombs before the big boom. The other new toy for the menacing robots is the enormous factory strider. These four-legged monstrosities are extremely heavily armored, able to shrug off even the heaviest artillery strikes and keep coming at you, machine guns a-blazing. The good news is there isn't a building cranking these out that you need to worry about. The bad news is the factory part of the name is literal. They will continue to manufacture and drop enemies until you've dealt with them. There's no easy way to take out a factory strider. Persistent attacks with spears, expendable rocket launchers, and other heavy ordnance are the best option, as is hitting it with every stratagem your team can muster. If worse comes to worse, steering your drop pod into it when you're called in as a reinforcement can do solid damage. Democracy has landed. Just be prepared for this to be a tough fight no matter how well equipped you are. If you want to be the best humanity has to offer in this war against the freedom-hating bugs and robots, be sure to check out our Advanced Combat Guide. You can find that and more in our Helldivers 2 wiki. And for everything else, stick with IGN.